Welcome back to the Texas music scene. You know, folks, a lot of Texas musicians take pride in their live performance. I mean, just look at how many great venues and dance halls there are across the state. Our Texas legend this time was all about playing live, and he was one of the best at it. The late, great, Rusty Weir. Oh my God, I do Don't Make You Want to Dance every night in our set. It's like our one of our closers because I think, I mean, come on, soul, you gotta, you gotta get out of here. I just saw a YouTube clip of him playing this old, like 1970s Don't Make You Want to Dance style and he was just singing and he was back when he was dancing. And uh, one thing that I think separates Rusty Weir from a lot of other artists is that uh, Rusty Weir records aren't exactly easy to come by. Uh, a lot of them have fallen out of print. But uh, while he was alive, like even in the, in the twilight of his years, you know, a Rusty Weir show was very easy to find. I mean, he'd have these, you know, weekly residencies at the Saxon Pub. And I mean, you could just go drink it in in person, you know? Uh, why put it on plastic when you can go see the real thing once a week? Rusty Weir, man. Rest in peace. Oh, that's, that's one of the first things I say. I, I love him. But I'll say this much about him. Anybody who ever saw him play, he could do more with a performance with just him and a guitar than most folks could do with an entire band and lights and smoke, whatever. He had it right there in his eyes. It was just like this sort of uh, fire he had behind his eyes. And he would hold a crowd and entertain them in ways that other folks couldn't do. He just, he just had it, man. You know, the first time I got to see Rusty Weir was at the Larry Joe Taylor Cook-Off Festival out in, uh, I don't remember where it was, it's in Stephenville now. We were running all over the place and, and you go campfire to campfire and you're playing music well into the night and uh, Rusty Weir and Larry Joe pulled up on a golf cart, but uh, they rolled in and started, uh, started playing songs and uh, I mean, it was kind of a party atmosphere and people were playing and singing and and drinking and being silly and talking and all that. And uh, when Rusty Weir came and sat down, boy, everybody shut up and listened. Yeah, he's awesome. We, he got he hopped up on stage with us. Where was that? Uh, Midnight Rodeo here. Midnight Rodeo here in Austin, yeah. Cross harp him on the key. And yeah. He did Don't Make You Want to Dance. <laughs> I got to share a bottle of tequila ro rosé with him <laughs> at the end of one night. You know, when you get down to the, the things that, you know, you wouldn't steal this from somebody's parents' liquor cabinet or something. <laughs> just it's the only thing left around, and I thought that was about the coolest thing ever. Sitting around a campfire and picking tunes. It was a hard one to lose, man. Um, I remember the very last time I got to see him, and um, he was in that wheelchair, and he got up out of that chair and gave me a big old hug. And you know, he's uh, he's an icon. He's going to be missed. You know, my dad was there the day before he passed. And he said that Rusty was still laughing, like he was still in a good mood, like and after all this. And it was like, that's exactly what you want to hear. That's exactly what you want to think of him when you always think of him as that. <laughs>